guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a swoosh transition in Vegas Pro 15. Now, I'm going to be showing you two ways to create this effect. One is with a plugin, and another is without plugins. Also, the sound effect I use, there will be a link to it in the description for you to download. So, here we are in Vegas Pro 15. And the first way I'm going to be showing you is with the plugin, simply because it is so simple and it is also so quick. So what we're going to be doing once you have installed Sapphire plugins is heading over to transitions. And from here, you want to look for S underscore swish pan. As you can see, here it is. And believe it or not, once we've done this, we're finished. So once you have selected it and it's loaded up, simply drag and drop this in between your two clips. Now, this will open up, as you can see, you do get control of the direction and you also can control the blur amount along with everything else here. Now, in my opinion, you don't need to change anything from the settings, probably the direction depending how you want it, most likely left or right, but I'm going to leave it like that for now. So I'm going to turn down the audio or the preview quality and now I'll play it through. As you can see, that's the effect we get. So just like that, super simple. Now, if you want to make it quicker, all you do is select the middle, zoom in, and then drag in from the sides. You notice this number here, it's currently at 0.23. That's saying it's going to take 23 frames to uh, do this. So I'll stay at, stay here. This can be more of a quick one. So this is now 14 frames. You can see that's how that looks and of course it's completely optional how you want it now for the sound effect i will have a link to it in the description and let's say you've already uh, created your swoosh here and then you want to change the direction all you need to do is double click in between then you can see the direction and i'll just do up x out of it and now if i play it through just like that it has changed so as you can see that is a very simple and quick way to do this and now I'm going to be showing you a way to do it without plugins, which is going to be a lot more time consuming, but it does look the exact same. So working with this clip over here, it's the exact same two pieces of footage again, except without the plugin. So what we're going to be doing is zooming into the center. And now this is where we need to pick how quick or how slow we want this transition to be. Now for me, I'm going to be going back 15 keyframes. So you can see we're currently at 21. So all you're going to do is select it, select the left clip to start with, and then press the left arrow on your keyboard, completely up to you. Now, like I said, I'm doing 15. As you can see, that's 15 frames. I'm going to press S on my keyboard to split it right there. Now we're going to go back to the center and I'm going to go forward 15 frames. And once again, I'm going to press S on my keyboard. So now we have these two clips split right here. The next thing we're going to do is right click and insert a video track. And if you need to keep the audio of, um, say for this one, for example, just drag it down and then drag this onto the video track above and drag it across. So this is how it's going to look. We're going to have the two clips on top of each other. And the first thing we're going to be doing is coming to the pattern crop on the top track. Now from here, I recommend changing this to move in X only just by selecting it once and then you're going to drag this off screen just like that. That's how we're going to begin with. We're then going to come to the pattern crop on the clip below. And we're also for this one, we're just going to have a sync cursor highlighted. Just come across a little bit so you can still see your clip and drag this to this direction. Then for this keyframe, we can drag it off to the end. And now we can X out of this and we're going to come back to this first one here. And we're going to come to the very end keyframe here and just like right click and restore and we're going to drag this to the end now i'm going to x out of this and this is now what we currently have so you can see it creates a sort of sliding motion now it's pretty boring so we need to add some motion blur to it now the way we're going to be doing this again no um nothing you need to download it's all built in with vegas you're going to come over to video effects from here, you're going to come to Gaussian Blur. And from here, you pick how the blur you want it to be. Now, for me, I'm going to go with Medium Blur. And we're going to drag and drop this onto the top clip to start with. I'm going to come across on my video so I can see um, the how it's going to look. I'm going to turn down the vertical range. 
so you can see it's going to be across and we're going to toggle the animation on the horizontal range on the very first keyframe we're going to bump this all the way up and we're going to drag this to the end and turn that horizontal range all the way down pretty simple now for the medium blur on the clip below we're going to do the opposite so we're going to toggle the animation on the horizontal it's going to start at zero but at the end clip the horizontal is going to be all the way up of course vertical range needs to stay all the way down so i'm going to x out of it and this is it now completed you can see just like that super simple that's how you can recreate it so it is a bit slower I did pick 15 frames, but you can see that's without plugins, and this is with the plugin. So you can see very similar effects, just one takes a bit longer. And then if you want to change the direction of this, super simple, come to the pan and crop on the top track, and all we're going to do is drag this to the other side, like here, and then we're also going to come to the pan and crop on the one below. We're going to come to the end keyframe and drag this to the opposite side. And now the transition has switched sides. So I'll play it through. You can see just like that, it's changed. Super simple and super quick. As I mentioned at the beginning, the swoosh sound effect will also be linked in the description for you to download. But that's it for this tutorial. I hope this has been useful for you. Be sure to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, and also follow me on Snapchat. I am always active on that. And of course, you can message me whenever you would like to on that. Yeah.